Good, how you doing? Good, we're ready for this. We're gonna throw some questions at you. Start ready. with James, James Krapia from the Oregonian. DJ Tyler was saying he only got to work with you the past couple of days in practice with the first team. When did you know you were gonna get the start? And just walk me through whether it's that first play, that first catch, just what goes through your mind? You know, I just take every day like uh, getting ready to play. So it wasn't nothing uh, really any different. The first play, just running through it like we go through in practice every day as we've been going through it since we got the go ahead to start practicing. AJ Jacobson, Rivals. DJ, you look so smooth out there as a tight end. Um, is that a natural position for you? Uh, have you played that much before here? Well, I'm, I'm, I made the transition this year, but I, in high school, I played, I was an athlete, so I pretty much played all over the field on offense, so it wasn't a hard transition. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. I guess, how, how gratifying was it? How good did it feel to get in the end zone there and, and get the first uh, receiving touchdown of the season for Tyler? It felt great to be able to get that touchdown for him and for the team. Uh, it's always a great thing when we put up points as a team and drive down the field. So it's a nice way to finish a drive. Tyson Alger, The Athletic. When you were being recruited here two, three years ago as a defenseman, if someone were to like show you just a tape of today's game of, of you scoring touchdowns as a tight end, like how, how, what would you have thought about that? Yeah, I wouldn't be uh, too surprised just because I know, uh, you know what I'm capable of. Matt Preen, 247 Sports. What's the potential you feel like of this offense? A lot of guys have said that there's still a lot of room to, make, to be made up, and yet you guys played still pretty well. I feel like we're just scratching the surface of our potential. I feel like as we get going and just get more used to, you know, playing in these times, we're going to get better and better. Back to James with the Oregonian. DJ, we haven't talked to you since the position change. Just take us back to that decision where – and you were probably the number two defensive end behind KT uh, and, and to go into a, a more crowded position group, uh, not knowing exactly where you're going to be on the depth chart, uh, the decision to do that. And Coach has mentioned this off-season injury you were battling. Uh, what exactly was it and, and when were you fully recovered? I got uh, fully recovered within the last two months. Um, but the decision was just to – I seen an opportunity um, with – the guys that we had and felt like I'd have a good shot at, you know, competing for a spot. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. You mentioned it's not been too difficult to, to make the move from defensive line to tight end. What is, the, what are, I guess, are a couple of the more difficult things, and, and I guess maybe what are the strengths you think you provide the group um, at tight end? Well, it's always a transition with the technique of the position. So even now I'm still working on, you know, perfecting my technique. But uh, as far as like the easy thing is just playing freely. It's like once you, when you know what you're doing, it's very easy to just play fast and physical. So that's what I try to do. AJ Jacobson, Rivals. DJ, why do you think you click so well with Tyler Shuck? It seems like you guys have a natural connection out there. We put in a lot of work uh, in the off season, uh, even before you know COVID hit. So when you train, it shows on the field. That's all we have for you, DJ. Nice job. Congratulations on the win. I appreciate it.